I think one of the big differences between police in Canada and police in the U.S. is that the Northwest Mounted Police were modeled after the Royal Irish Constabulary, which the British had set up in Ireland as a colonial police force. And they replicated this type of thing, not only in Canada, but also in their colonies in India and Africa. You know, one of their main functions was to impose colonial law and order and to extend the control of the state into these frontier regions. And that remains pretty much the role of the RCMP today across Canada. A lot of the critical infrastructure and transportation uh, corridors, such as railways and highways, they pass through or very nearby indigenous populations and the reservations, especially as you go further north in the country. So this type of situation creates a lot of vulnerabilities for Canada. And I think the state is very aware of this and that's why it's so cautious in its repression of indigenous social movements. A big wake up call was during the Oka crisis of 1990 when you had widespread solidarity actions across the country and you had uh, sabotage actions being carried, carried out against this type of infrastructure. So I think it's very clear to the state that the, this is the possible uh, consequences if their repression leads to the uh, widening of indigenous resistance and even to the uh, beginning of actual insurgency. Where the fuck they at? Where the fuck they doing? We pull the meat on these demons, leaving everything in ruins. We bleeding them devils, even some rebels coming to ride. We ain't moving, we shooting till every one of them dies. Where the fuck they at? Where the fuck they doing? We pulling heat on these demons, leaving everything in ruins. We bleeding them devils, these are some rebels coming to ride. And we ain't moving, we shooting till every one of them dies. Shoot back.